Hello guys, my name is Sergey Gusev. Welcome to my studio. Today I will show and explain how to draw an eye. Let's get started. The eye consists of the eyeball and upper and lower eyelids. It is surrounded by the bony orbit. The eyeball is basically a sphere. The convex flattened dome-like cornea sits on its anterior surface. Because it is transparent, it is not easily seen when the eye is open. But when covered by the eyelid, its subtle form becomes apparent, especially when the eyeball moves. The sclera is the white of the eye. It may have a tinge of blue or yellowish color. Because the eyeball is wet and its surface glossy, a highlight may develop on the surface of the sclera and or cornea. The iris is the colored ring that is seen through the cornea. It functions as an aperture, dilating and constricting to control the amount of the light entering the eye through the round opening of the pupil. The pupil is located in the center of the iris. It appears as a small dot becoming larger in low light situations letting more light in, and constricting to almost a point under strong light. The color of the iris may be varying shades of light to dark brown or black, blue, blue-green or gray. The lens is located just behind the iris. The eyeball sits within the bony eye socket. Its size varies little between individuals. The apparent size of the eye is determined by the opening between the eyelids. The upper eyelid is larger and slightly longer and wider than the lower one. The edges of the eyelids contain the eyelashes, arranged in double or triple rows. Decide what kind of tools you want to use. In this tutorial, I used a B, 3B and 8B pencil to draw. I recommend using more than one grade to get better depth for a more realistic look. I used these to draw on drawing paper. I recommend to buy paper that is especially for drawing. It doesn't have to be pricey. Well, we will start by drawing the outline. That can be a fast sketch, but enough detail to show the shape. Start sketching the outlines of the eye. If it is still hard for you to get the right shapes, try to use a reference, or perhaps look at your own eye. Draw the sketch very light so you can erase if you make any mistakes. Make sure to keep your pencil sharp throughout the whole drawing. This will give better results. Start to draw the pupil dark. Then start shading the iris very light. I used a B pencil to do this. If you are done with the first layer of graphite, add more layers to the darker areas. There is no need to put more pressure. The multiple layers will make it darker automatically. The iris always had this darker outer line, and in my drawing I also made the upper half darker to give it more depth. You can blend the iris with the blender now, or do it in the end like I will. Blend the iris until it looks smooth. After you are done with blending, add more layers with a darker pencil, 5B in my case, and blend it again. Keep repeating this step until you are satisfied with the result. Now add some shades to the sclera. The sclera is not entirely white. Remember that it is a sphere and not a flat surface, which means there should be some shadings. Here we are going to draw the tear duct. Give it depth with darker areas and some highlight to give it a wet look. Now add the eyelashes. 
The upper lashes are longer and more densely packed than the lower ones. They curve upward while the lower lashes curve downward. When the eyes are closed, the lashes do not intertwine. The lashes begin a short distance from the inner corner of the eye and end at the outer corner. When drawing the eyelids, please remember that the eyelids, whether opened or closed, lie in the spherical form of the eyeball. Because the eyelids have a thickness, the edges of the eyelids can be seen as very narrow, elongated planes lying perpendicular to the surface of the eyeball. Draw an eyebrow above the eye. Concentrate on drawing the shape and different values rather than the individual hairs. Eyebrows range in value from very light to almost black and can be narrow and thin or big and bushy. They can be arched straight or even wavy. Eyebrows follow the shapes of the brow ridge and seem to change shape when the head is viewed from different angles. When drawing the eye, always remember about the spherical shape of the eye and its volume. The eyelids have spherical forms too, as they lie on the sphere. So remember that the edge of the upper eyelid is a down plane and is therefore usually darker, while the edge of the lower eyelid is an up plane and lighter. You should note how the upper eyelid covers the top of the iris. Most beginners draw the iris too small and try to fit it within the white of the eye. The bottom of the iris usually sits on or very slightly below the lower eyelid. The last part is the finishing touch. Make sure the eye looks volumetric and clean up the highlights. At the end use a B pencil to make the final strokes and darken some areas where you think it is necessary. Now we are done. If you find this video helpful, your friends might like it too. Please help me out and share this video on your favorite social network. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch new upcoming videos.